Hey guys, it's been a while since I brought you an empty or my beauty trash video So I wanted to share with you guys some things that I have gone through completely or things that I am done with So if you'd like to see what's in my beauty trash, just keep watching So I have my trash can in front of me I'm just gonna start pulling out things that I have used up completely So let's jump right in the first one being a shampoo that I've gone through. This is the VO5 Herbal Escapes Moisturizing Shampoo and Free Me Freesia. I think I just picked this one up because I had a coupon and I ran through it. Did it really do anything for my hair that I could notice? Not so much, so I will not be repurchasing this one. The Nail Aid One Second Spray Away Acetone Spray Nail Polish Remover Maximum Strength. Is this one second spray away nail polish remover? No but I like the packaging because I have children and I am prone to knocking things over. So having an open container of nail polish remover in me is dangerous, or having my kids be able to open up a lid to get into something like that is dangerous. So I like these because you have to unlock the cap and press down to dispense. So for that reason, I have repurchased this multiple times and I like this one in particular. The green can for some reason makes me sneeze and really bothers my sinuses. This one doesn't and I definitely would repurchase. Some makeup remover wipes that I have gone through. Two were from, I believe, last year's Ulta Holiday um, collection. These are the Sweet and Shimmer Face and Body Mini Wipes. I have Merry Mint and Winter Vanilla. I buy these every year. I love the scent. I got some this year. I think this one's from, this one might have been from Walgreens Dollar Bin, but I love the peppermint and vanilla scented makeup wipes. So I use these often for like removing swatches, removing lipstick, things like that. I also ran through the Elme uh, makeup removing ones. I didn't personally like these. I felt like they weren't wet enough to really remove my makeup well, so I would pass on these. And then also the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes. These work really well. I use these to get off glitter especially so it doesn't end up on my washcloth. I use this for like tougher to remove liquid lipstick type of things before I go in with like a washcloth. Just kind of be gentler on my skin, so I would recommend these. A conditioner that I ran through, this is the Herbal Essence Sulfate Free Honey and Vitamin B Daily Moisture Conditioner. I did like this one, I felt like it was more gentle on my hair, but would I repurchase? No, because I have an entire cabinet full of shampoo and conditioner that I still have to use up, so I will not be repurchasing, but this was a nice product. You guys have heard me talk about this brand a lot. The Cara Color Color Plus Conditioner. This is the mocha shade. I've run through an entire container of the brown conditioner. Um, you saw probably a couple months ago, my hair went darker. I used up a lot of this then. Last winter, I went more auburn, so I was mixing the copper and the mocha. And I think this is great if you wanna play with deepening up your hair color or even toning it down a bit. I love this product. There are so many other colors. I have the rose gold, I have the silver, I have the blue, the purple, the red, the copper, and this one. I just think they're great and they make your hair pretty soft. So no complaints about this, would repurchase. The Aveeno Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. This gave my skin kind of like a tingly clean feeling, which I liked in the shower. It worked well. I feel like it did a nice job of cleaning my face, but I feel like I have so many facial cleansers already. I will not be repurchasing, but this was a nice product and I would recommend it. A cleanser from Pixie. This is the Vitamin C Juice Cleanser with Orange Flower Water. And this is a brightening cleanser because it has vitamin C. It's supposed to brighten your skin, kind of help heal your skin. I loved this. I especially love the packaging. So has a pop-off lid and then it has a dispenser here where you put your cotton round and press down and the product dispenses right to your cotton round. You don't need to pour, you don't need to pump. It's super easy and I really liked the product inside as well. So I think I'm gonna be keeping this packaging and putting their toner in it so that I can do the same thing with toner. So would recommend, would repurchase. Keeping that one. So mascaras that are in the trash bin. The first one is the L'Oreal Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. I personally didn't have any luck with this one and it's been sitting around on my desk for probably about six months now, so that is why I am tossing it. Didn't love it and it's also probably expired by now. My Giorgio Armani, I think this was called the Ecstasy Mascara. I love this one. If it weren't so expensive, I definitely would repurchase, but I definitely would suggest this. It is a 
really, really inky black. I know the wand doesn't look impressive, but it was really good. And I loved pairing this with other mascaras. It gave me more fluffy volume, so to speak. This one made them intensely black and amazing. My Jane Iredell brown mascara. I was just underwhelmed with the brush and the color. The color is not a dark brown. It's like a washed out brown, which doesn't really do anything for me since my lashes are pretty much invisible to start with. So I would not recommend this one. I think that Maybelline has a brown mascara, the Total Temptation that I'd recommend before that. And then the Koki Cosmetics, the Volume and Length Mascara. This one was just all right. And I've had it for six months probably, and it's starting to get that like chemically smell when things have expired. So I'm just tossing this. I don't really think I will repurchase because I have so many mascaras that I'm dying to try. Toothpaste, I consider this beauty because this keeps my teeth nice and white. I drink tea, I eat chocolate, I eat a lot of dark colored things and I feel like this has really helped keep the stains off my teeth. It's the Sensodyne Extra Whitening Toothpaste. You can pick it up at the drugstore. It's not prescription, it's affordable. It works really well, highly recommend. A hair product that I would recommend, this is the Maui Moisture Color Protection and Sea Minerals Heat Shield Mist. This smells amazing, first of all. It smells so good, it's like pineapple and tropical. I feel like it did help when I was using heated tools on my hair to keep it protected. Would recommend. A lip product that's in the trash bin because the stopper stopped working is this Grande Lips Plumping Liquid Lipstick in, I think this is called River Clay, yes. Like you can see just how much is on this wand. The stopper never worked, but I love the formula. So I did actually repurchase this one and the stopper does work in the new one. So I must've just gotten a faulty one, but I really like this. It's like tingly. It's like a nice kind of gray mauve neutral shade. Really pretty, nice formula. A uh, setting spray I've run through. This is a Pixie Rose Glow Mist. I don't love rose scented products, but this one is tolerable for me. I just really love the Rose Glow formula from Pixie. I will not be repurchasing the rose one, but I will be repurchasing the standard glow mist from Pixie. It's a really good glowy mist. A powder that I've run through. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. This one is in the shade Fair to Light. I love this one, especially with their CoverGirl Outlast foundation or even on top of other foundations. It just really seems to help lock in the makeup and make my skin look fresh all day. So I really love this powder, have repurchased. A setting spray that I was not a fan of, unfortunately, this is the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray. The spray was strange, it kind of went like this and hit you at the top and the bottom, not much in the middle. I don't know, it was strange. You don't get much in here. The packaging is cute, it's got the double cap, which I appreciate but I would say save your money and if you want a dewy setting spray, go with Pixie. Another powder that I ran through, this is the H&M True Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Porcelain. I loved using this one under the eyes. It has a mirror, I think it was like $5 at H&M. Really affordable, I think I've repurchased this multiple times. A really nice under eye setting powder. A fragrance that I've run through, this is the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Fragrance Mist. This smells like gummy bears to me and my kids love it. So sometimes in the morning, they'll come into my closet and be like, mommy, can I have the gummy bear spray? So I'll spray it on them. But honestly, I use this like after the gym, if I'm just running out the door and I need something fast that doesn't have to last forever. It's a really nice scent. Two more mascaras I found at the bottom of the bin. The first one is the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, the BFF mascara. I don't know about this one. Like the wand looks like it would be amazing. But I've tried it several times and I just, I'm still on the fence and I've had it for more than three months, so I'm tossing it. I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing this one because there are so many other mascaras that I honestly just truly love. So why add another one to the mix when I have a bunch that I already cherish? And then this one is the Maybelline and Puma mascara. It's going in the trash because I've had it for longer than six months. The Puma collection came out in, I wanna say 2018 or 2019, so it's time to say goodbye to this one. And the last item in my beauty trash is the Derma Blend Power Setter 2-in-1 Set and Refresh Makeup Setting Spray. I thought this was a nice setting spray. Um, you get a good amount. It's 3.4 fluid ounces. It had a nice sprayer on it. The cap is nice and tight. It's not too fragrant. It just smells like the standard setting spray. Nothing floral, nothing fruity, just kind of that setting spray scent. Um, 
Would I repurchase? Probably not because it is a little on the pricier side when I have some more affordable setting sprays that I love and recommend. So not a bad product, just will not be repurchasing. So that is it for my beauty empties. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have run through and hearing if I would repurchase or not. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.